I literally just logged in. Somebody already wants to fly with me. Who's that? Chippa. Thank you, but no thank you. I have some things I gotta do today. But thank you for wanting to fly with me. Um, let's see. Firefox. I need to play some other music. Do y'all have any recommendation on music that you want to listen to? You look like Yuvesu. Yuvesu was in a penguin outfit yesterday. Was that supposed to be a potato pun? Oh, Rand, it probably was supposed to be a potato pun and it went over my head. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That went over my head. Okay, there we go. We're gonna listen to this. We're gonna wake up slowly, okay, chat? Um, oh no! I missed it. I'm sorry, Ran. <laughs> it's funny. Um, <clears throat> not my type of game, but I was happy to be here to chat and watch you guys have fun. Aw, oh, well, thanks, Jeremy. Orca's voice acting skills with your fantastic hand movements. <laughs> oh, Ian, you're too much. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> my, I like my character and how she looks. I don't really see me ever really changing her. I say that. I watch something come out and I'm like, I need to change her. <laughs> but I like it. What is that? Uh, oh, wait. Come fly with me. That was sweet. People in this game are so cute. I love how I can just... Like, yesterday, we were just hanging out, and I, I can't remember. I think we were doing... Yeah, we were doing veteran dungeons last night, and there was somebody without uh, a guild uh, above their head, and we're like, hey, what... And, they're, and well, actually, first I said, hey, do you want to join, like, our veteran dungeons? And they're like, yeah, sure. And we did the veteran dungeons, and then afterwards I was like, hey, you're not in a guild, want to join ours? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and then, and then, I don't know, it's just so cute. This game is, everybody's so willing to like be, not social, but just like be, you know, talk back and, and like hang out. I guess I'm just so used to playing games where nobody ever really talks. I, I just, I, I think I just haven't played Final Fantasy fourteen in a while. Um... I don't know, or maybe I'm doing things wrong in other games, but in this game, I guess I'm just way more sociable. Wait, my at pickaxe is... Oh, no, my pickaxe. I need to go repair it. But anyways, I met a friend, and he was really nice, and we all just, like, hung out and just did dungeons. I, I love that. I love having, like, these little adventures in this game. Just meet a random stranger, and then you don't know what their personality is going to be like until you meet them, and... I have only met really awesome people. 4K? You'll need more money. Oh no, I'm broke. <laughs> oh no, I need more money. I forgot I deposited all my money. Okay, hold on. Gotta, gotta get some money, chat. Hi, broski. Good morning. Hi, Chrono. Good morning, Tanner. Hi, guys. Okay, withdraw. Let's just do 11k. Alright, I think that's good enough for right now. <clears throat> okay. Alright, here we go. The pot, the repair my stuff, please. Okay, what, what is my, why is my bow, oh, it's only 23 out of 24, that's fine this. Thank you. Okay, now we go back to my homestead. <sighs> what the heck? Okay, here we go. I don't talk very much because I'm extreme introvert and have social anxiety, but I try. Hey, you're doing great. What are you talking about? You would have completely fooled me. I, I'm very different on, like, ver stream and game versus real life. I cannot, like, go up to talk to somebody just because. I can't do that in real life. I can do that in a game. <laughs> I can't do that in real life, though. I wonder why that's true. Maybe it's just because I'm behind my character versus I'm behind, like, my body? I don't know. I think it also depends on the mood I'm in, too. 
Okay, I need to do a rank C one here. I like this little animation, it's kind of cute. I'm growing fairies. <laughs> like, it seems kind of weird, but I'm growing fairies. I have so many of these whistles. I need to figure out what to do with them. There we go. Um, oh yeah. Um, let's see. Put this here. Okay. Where's my Blanet outfit? Oh, it's right here. Wait. Oh, I did the... Oops, wrong one. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Okay, uh, and then what else do I need to do? I need to go do my bunny stuff. Can't deal with people IRL. I can't either. I always have, I also have to like practice what I'm going to say when I have to call like an office or something. Because I, I feel like I stumble over my words when I'm on the phone. It's so weird and it's not even like, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, right? But it is, it is, it is to me having to talk to people on the phone. Like, if I do it all the time, right, then I think it might not be a big deal, but I don't talk, I don't call people all the time, right? So I have to, like, memorize what I'm going to say, or at least have, like, a script up before I, I call. Otherwise, I just jumble words. It's kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. Especially because I've had to deal with insurance. <laughs> And, like, the situation's confusing enough, <laughs> so I have to have a script. Otherwise, everything I say won't make any sense. Hi, gals. Good morning. Hope you're feeling spontastic. I'm feeling great. I'm a little tired, but I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I'm happy. I can't do that in the games either. Hey, you don't have to. Let me be that for you. <laughs> and Orca. <clears throat> I can't be on for super long this morning. I have my annual review in like 15 minutes. Oh, annual review. Oh, I hope they I hope they have nothing good or nothing good to say. And any Oh my god, that was the worst thing to say. I hope they have only good things to say. <laughs> no good things to say. Only good things to say. <laughs> Sorry. Um, cool. That is kind of over overwhelming, though. But I really do hope they have only good things to say, gals. <laughs> uh, but you... In the annual reviews, don't you normally have to, like, stick up for yourself to say, like, what you've done and that you deserve a blah, blah, blah? I'm gonna be honest. I haven't done one in a really long, in a really long time. In work mode, I'm fine, but socially not my favorite. Yeah, work mode. Yeah, Lulu. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that. It's like that for me. Like, this is work for me, sort of. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Bridging the... Yeah, being the bridge between us introverts and new people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm an introvert myself, too. Me, too, Orca, but not on Mabby. We're extroverts on Mabby. Um, 110. I have 110. I can almost buy another whistle. Oh, this ends on Thursday. I have to remember that. This ends on Thursday. How many are, how many? 300k, 600k? Okay. Just curious. I got added my uh, ever-growing list of potions that I'll never use. Or I will use, but I'm just not. I'm so bad with letting things expire. Okay, I did my pork cob moon stuff, and then, or well, technically I have it, but I just keep the, I keep, I keep these until I have to fish. I ain't fishing right now, though, but I can go and turn in, how many smelts do I have? I think I have, I think I have enough smelts that I can go in. Yeah, I have enough. I have fit 16 glacier ones. I have 16 glacier ones. I turned in I turned in the first one. Ooh, money. Oh. It's <laughs> it belongs to somebody else. There we go. Complete. 
There you go. All right, now I have 130. Okay, so I'll, I'll save that for later. I, I ain't gonna fish. I ain't gonna fish today. All right, this morning. I'm not gonna fish this morning. Not in video games you aren't exactly. Orca's not. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, Link from Tears of the Kingdom anime style. Who's Who made that? Is this just uh, artwork or? Ooh. Gosh dang. They make him look beefy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, well, there will be fishing, but there will just be fishing when I'm not active, like, when I go and make dinner, like, later or something, or, like, go do something else. Yeah, that's when I'll fish. Okay, I need to, oh, I need to focus on Generation 2. Generation 2. I need to focus, I need to finish it. I think I'm, I'm I think I'll finish it. We're almost there. I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't remember, I can't remember the story, because there was a lot going on that day. Oh, look, here we go. Oh, right, I had to uh, hook people up. That was weird. Oh, shoot, I need to put on the, the sound. Miss Kylie, do you hear me? Are you seeking the path of the Guardian of Light? Oh, look, it's Morgan, Morgan, Morgana, Morgana, Mor Morgan. One of those. There is no time. It is difficult to suppress Chicho's forces. However, Morgan, oh, Morgan's power is growing. Oh, Morgan. Ta. That's the person with Rari. Ra 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 ra. Do not be frustrated. You will find the way. The path of the Guardian of Light remains in a main. Find Lug, the Knight of Light. Lug. So there's Lug, and then there's. Who's the other guy? Oh, remember to become the guardian of light. One must endure the hardships encountered on the way. Oh, is that why we're like pairing up people? Because we have to do the good deeds. You will, you, your will to follow the path of lug. The light, the knight of light will guide you as you seek to become the guardian of light. So there's the knight of light and then there's the guardian of night. Not to be confused. <laughs> Continue ever onward. I believe in you. Well, thank you. At least somebody believes in me. Oh, shoot. There was a... Never mind. Um, <laughs> For the class. <laughs> Thanks for linking that. Oh, I didn't show it. I thought I sh Oh, that was my bad. Um, Okay, Morgan. Okay, hold on. We're gonna... I need to pause this music if we're gonna... We should probably listen to Mabby's music if we're doing... Generation... Okay. All right. Cool. So there's the Knight of Light and there's the Guardian of Light. <laughs> there's Lug. There's Chicho. Morgan. Morgana. More whatever. Holy cow. Why did it have to be Morgan? So close to her. Talk to Tarlac at Sede Sinatra. Sede Sinatra. Sede. All right. Tarlac. What is he going to say to us today? Sir, do you need to be hooked up with Christelle again? Let's see. A cough, cough. So you have made it through the barrier and come to this desolate place. The spirits, the night of light and the spirits. Hmm. You're one of those who believe that you can actually become a night of light. Like, lug through training, aren't you? I don't know if what I know will help you, but I read somewhere that you have to learn how to use three different types of power and harmony and maintain balance become a, to become a knight of light. Those three types of power are divine, spirit, and human. The power of the gods represents their blessing, which maintain the order of this world. The power of the spirits represents the forces of nature that empower the weapons of a knight and the power of human represents the willpower of the people who pursue justice and face its consequences on their own if this is true and you chose the path of the knight of light on your own 
you will have the blessing of Morgan in this place. So it seems you have the power of humans and the gods already. The only thing left is to find is the power of the spirits. You can view spirits as a soul within all things, alive or otherwise. Among those, the ones that materialize, materialize and take on a living form are referred to as spirits. Since it's the awakening of the power of nature, you can say that spirits themselves are a part of nature. Okay. Yes, to become a knight of light, you must use a tool that is enchanted with the power of the spirits. The most important item for a knight of light is paladin armor. They say this armor helps to concentrate the enormous power of the gods within a knight, ensuring the power is contained and does not destroy its user. They say the paladin armor was made with all of the wisdom of the ancients. I heard only the owner of the armor can wear it. Of course, it is only a legend. Oh! Who is that? If you're interested in this armor, you should go see Air. Air is a spirit of water you can find on Seal Island. What? There's mermaids? What? Seal Island. Air. What the heck? Oh, she's pretty. Okay, wait, where do I find her? There's a goblin bodyguard. Do I have to talk to him to pass the bridge? How do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oops, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> oh, he takes you to Port Cobb. <laughs> what? Okay. All right, away I go. <laughs> to Port Cobb. All right, uh, blessing of the spirit. Oh, so she's in a, oh, she's down here. Woo! Have I been here before? I feel like I have. Maybe I haven't. Oh my god, the music in here is cute. Oh my god! Oh, she's not a... a she's like half human, half fish. Ooh. Cool! Look at her! You've come regarding paladin armor? Then you must also be seeking the power of the spirits. But know that speaking with me will do little good if you're not worthy or not yet ready to don the armor. Uh-oh, I have to prove to her. Nice fairy fountain. Oh, it is kind of like a fairy fountain. <laughs> it is like a fairy fountain. In some ways, you remind me of Lug, but in others, you're quite different. You'll have to prove your worthiness to me. Paladins use their power to safeguard the happiness of others, and a true paladin will never turn down a request from a spirit. Okay. I'll tell you more about a paladin's armor if you'll aid me in my request. You see, I wish to become more attractive. Let's hold up a mirror. She's already so cute. What the heck? Far too often when I see people, they jeer or even throw stones at me? All because of my looks? I seldom venture near any populous areas now. I just remain in hiding here. Oh. Aw. What? Why? Don't give me any of that sugar-coated rubbish about how it's what's on the inside that counts. As a spirit of water, I can change my appearance however I please, but no matter what appearance I adopt, people are still just as mean. I need to find a look that people will love. I wish I could simply ask people what they find attractive, but approaching them tends to get me pelted with rocks, so that's out. If you can find out on my behalf, I'll, I'll finally be able to live a happy life showered with compliments instead of stones. That's horrible. I'm asking you, begging you even, to find out what appearance people consider aesthetically ideal. Well, chat, you heard her. What's I aesthetically ideal? What's aesthetically ideal, chat? What do you find attractive? It's actually just a question. Oh. Complete. I guess I have to go out. Oh, is this the ideals thing that y'all were talking about? Like, ah! But now it's changed. Like, in the past, you had to find, like, an actual character running around that looks like a certain way, and you had to bring them to her. If 
Find a perfect match for a Tier Chanel resident. Find a perfect match for a Dunbarton resident, for Bangor and Yemen. Okay. Ask the following people what their ideal type of person is. Oh, Trevor, Christelle, Sion, and Galvin. Okay, so I need to go to Trevor. Trevor. I don't know where Trevor is. Wait, is Trevor the one by the foxes? Here, maybe I need to go to Alpi Dungeon. Ah, so this is the ideal part. But I got it easy. Sorry. Sorry, those of you Mabby Boomers that have had to struggle with this part in the past, but they've changed it. I'm gonna be honest, I'm happy they changed it because I don't think I would have wanted to walk around and find people. Especially since on a Monday, <laughs> nobody would be online. Um, how can I help you? Um, do I start a conversation? Let's see, what is your ideal type, Trevor? Jingle physics. Uh, my ideal type? Aha! I think I get what's going on. Was it Dilius who sent you here by any chance? Oh, does he like Dilius? If so, I'd like you to pass his message along to her. <clears throat> there is but one lady who stokes the fires of my passion. The lovely Dilius. Wait, isn't that the same person? D-I-L... Wait, what? A long line of comedy, or calm, calm, calmly, calmly lasses could parade themselves before me, but I swear I'd only see her. Oh, Dilius. Submit. Oh, I had to type the name to make sure I was paying attention. I did just tell you that, didn't I? I'm getting the sense you don't believe me. Okay, who's Dilius? Who is that? Okay, hold on. Who is that? Stop, foxes. So aggressive. Yeah, this is ideals. I'm glad it was changed because this was BS. Oh. She's a healer. Oh, the healer. Who's Delius? Hold on. Or did it was it always Delius? Hold on. Mavi Wiki. D Delius? Oh, I guess it was always Delia. Oh! She's inside the healer house. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen her. I don't think I've ever been... Have I been inside? So he likes her. So this is his ideal type. Short brown hair, brown eyes. Tall. <laughs> It tells you, I had to look up on the wiki because I didn't read any of it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it tells you in the thing. That's okay. She's cute though. Heal my pet. Okay. All right, now we have to go to Dumbarton. We have to go talk to Christelle. She's gonna say Tarlock. Isn't she? If she says somebody else, I'm gonna be amazed. Like, amazed. I'll be like, what? It's Tarlock. I know it. She likes those bear of a men. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What What is Christelle's ideal type? Okay. Uh, ideal? Ideal look. It? Eh? Come now. You can't claim you don't already know. <laughs> so why are you asking? I realize women are sometimes regarded as being fickle in love and prone to changes of heart, but that wisdom, if indeed one could call it, that speaks of humans. I knew it. My heart is constant, my feelings unwavering. Don't misunderstand. I am well aware of the responsibilities borne by the clergy. She doesn't even say it. You just have to know. Tarlock. I'm glad you remember. <laughs> it's embarrassing to admit it, but I still think about him even now. Beyond the obvious male-female relationship. Beyond? What's beyond? I'm speaking more generally of the intimacy between two, oh, two human beings. In truth, my feelings for him are like a light that serves to guide and encourage me each day. 
That's love, Tat. The only prayer I can offer now is a wish for his happiness. That's kind of tragic. Tragic. All right, now we have to go to Sion and Bangor. Didn't he already hardcore reject her? To be honest, I don't think he did a good enough job because he kept asking her for help. I think my pet is stuck. Or, or no, it wasn't. I don't know. I think he let her on and she's probably like, oh. Oh, there's a person over here. Just sitting by the tree alone in the rain. Wait, I want to go talk to her. Ibby. She's an NPC. <laughs> Whoa! She like turned her whole body. All cute! Okay, bye! <laughs> Mood. Love is blind. It is. Love is blind. Valentine's Day is coming up. I want to do a fun little Valentine's event in Mabby, but I'm not sure what yet. I don't know what. I had an idea of a scavenger hunt, and then I had an, an idea of a fashion contest. But I don't know. Sion! You're not from, from this town, are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey, you know that girl Ibby sitting on the valley? Oh! I just met her! You know that girl Ivy sitting on the valley in front of the town entrance? She was a weak kid to begin with, but lately she's been losing appetite as well. I want to give her a slice of cake since it's one of her favorite foods, but as you can see, I have to take care of the customers that use the water mill and I can't leave. This is why I'm asking you for a favor. Please get me a slice of cake, Jennifer, from the pub cells. If you get me a slice of cake, then I'll teach you something fun in return. Oh. Okay, well this isn't the quest, but I will help him. He needs cake? From the pub? The pub sells cake? Oh, hey! Okay, where's the pub? Where's the pub? Where's the, oh, pub. Pub is right here. So they sell cake at the pub? Uh, oh, Jennifer. Shop. A slice of cake. Is it this? This looks plastic, but okay. Hey, right, I'm coming. It's a gift. It's a legendary potato cam, I know. I finally did it today. I haven't done it in a while. Hi, Critical. Here's some cake. Wow, thank you. It will be ecstatic to see this cake. As for the... Oh, rock throwing skill. I'll teach you the skill immediately. Just don't throw at other people. Wait, I can throw rocks now. What? Oh, wait. Is it... Is it a skill? Or wait, or maybe I have to finish the quest. <laughs> oh, I did pass it? Oh, there it is. Oh my god. How do I throw it? Oh, I threw it at the sign. What the heck? You can throw rocks in this game. <laughs> God. Okay. Well, he's probably going to like Ibby then. Okay, let's see. What is his ideal type? Hehe, <laughs> you know who it is. Ibby. <laughs> I did know. You already knew, so why did you ask in the first place? Hee <laughs> hee. Aw, that's cute. So Ibby is his 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 love. Wait, where is she? She was up there or something. Something like that. Um let's see. <laughs> 
The find a perfect match for an a main matcha. Okay, so I need to go to Galvin next. All right, Galvin. I don't know who Galvin is. Oh wait, no, I do. Galvin is the one that like Dell, right? Yeah. Oh my god, I already know who who's a couple in this game. <laughs> Hi, McKinno. Wow, I've been playing this game way too much. If I can remember all this. <laughs> So I can throw it at a mob? Rocks were once used to hit orbs in dungeons to avoid combat? To avoid combat? How? Like if you throw a rock at it, it doesn't actually spawn the monsters? Oh, here's Galvin. Yeah, I thought he liked one of the girls. Delin or Del? I can't remember. I think it's Del. How? If you don't know, how would you have... If I didn't know, well, how would I have known to type out Ibby? Just Wikipedia? She knows the OTPS. What's the OTPS? You can hit the orb from range. That's how I did it? Well, I mean, if you didn't... If you didn't know, how are you supposed to know? Is this your first time here? What would you like to know? I need to ask your ideal type. Ideal look, huh? You want to know my ideal type? Well, to level with you, no matter what I tell myself, there's only one gal for me. I've tried to find someone else, but even then, she's the only one my heart longs for. You know her too. Even if I did have other admirers, the only one I want is her. I think it's Del. What in the world are you talking about? Oh no! <laughs> I'm wrong! Uh, is it Delin then? Delin. Oh, it's Delin. Okay, he likes Delin. Wait, who, who, who likes Del then? Oh, that's right. Oh yeah! My love may be a rocky road, but I'll walk it with happiness for her. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna live maybe a rocky road, Chad. Whoa. All right, <laughs> now what? Okay, we found the ideal types. Now we have to go back to the, the, the mermaid lady looking lady. Guy sounds and dresses like Brock from Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it doesn't work anymore, right, Doctor? If I throw a rock at an orb, mob still will, will spawn. That's cool, though. It still works. I like the music in here. Thank you. So this is what people think is attractive. I guess people will stop running away from me screaming now, right? Oh, by the way, I haven't heard what Nelly thinks yet. I'd love to find out what his ideal type is. Were you looking for me? Nelly approaches. Ooh. Ah, my hunch was spot on. Where is he? Where is he? My hunch was spot on when I heard Miss Kylie going around asking folks what they considered the pinnacle of attractiveness. I figured air probably put them to it up. Yeah, put them to it. Air, spirit of water, you're always, you've always been foremost in my heart since the day I first caught sight of you on Seal Island. I've played every note of my songs in the hopes you might be listening. Oh, is he confessing? Oh, she blushes. But, but you threw a rock at me, liar. That hurt, and I did it, and I don't mean just the pain of being hit. It, it's like you humans never pay heed to other beings except to mock them. Air, no, you have it all wrong. I, I was just too shy to tell you. So you threw a rock at her? Some stories can't be told with words. 
The fullness of their meaning is lost as soon as they've spoken aloud. Air, I want you to listen. This song is for you. Oh, hold on. I don't have my instrument volume on. Okay. Okay, now you can go. Those who thirst will live another day thanks to you. Exhausted fishermen will be able to sail ashore and rest thanks to you. Provision. Sailors can cross even choppy waters safe in your embrace. Just picture this as a song, chat, okay? <clears throat> oh, that's it. Oh, just kidding. Lady, ladies, rise up with your blessings. Children splash around your fingertips and the birds rest their weary wings near your shores. It sounds like a poem. <laughs> We have to, we have to snap as a clap, okay? <laughs> Even the pains of the bards fall short of describing the fullness of your beauty. So I drew nigh to where I saw you yesterday. I longed to SP you there, sparkling like a gem. Why is there no music at all? Come on, Mabby, you gave Blanet like a whole single, man. Where's, where's Nelly's single? Yet whenever I stand before you, my reflection in the water casts such a shameful silhouette. It pains me to see my lowly self reflected in your eyes. Dang. The stone I cast was only in resentment of my own appearance, which dashed my hopes of gazing upon your undimmed. Twas the grief of a poor bard who knew not where his eyes might alight. I did not realize that in that moment, the very stone I cast was what hurt you. The ripples fanning out from it shook your tender heart. Yeah, why would you throw a stone, you idiot? Why would, why? It's like such elementary behavior. As I softly speak your name, the words pour forth as a song. My shabby appearance is, is washed away by the clear current of your gaze beneath the moonlight. Do not begrudge the ignorance of this love-struck fool. Dang. <laughs> I thought you were about to sing it. I don't know how to sing something like that. <laughs> Doesn't even rhyme. Yeah, right, Ian? Man, here you guys are taking your wives, girlfriends, boyfriends, whoever, to the restaurant. Y'all need to take some notes from Nelly, man. Like, write them a poem about how you don't compare in their in the, the reflection of their eyes. <laughs> Dang, y'all doing it wrong this whole time. Where, oh shoot, my thing, oh no. Uh, when do I throw a rock at them? Never! Why did he throw a rock to begin with? Also, sorry, I have to fix this. My thing fell apart, <laughs> my microphone. Noted, that's how I speaketh normally. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck oh my god my microphone's being dumb okay uh with hair that seems as pale as water she is an elf whose body is so slender she actually seems as if she should could oh wait this is just information about that thank you Air. i'll see you later oh wait or maybe that was him talking i don't know wait what now that's it oh i just talked to her again so that's why all those people were throwing rocks at me. I finally understand. Because they liked her? That makes no sense. Thank you for sharing this with me. Nelly, knowing this, I think I'll at least be able to walk with my head held high again. Oh. I'm sorry, Nelly, but could you give me a few moments alone to speak with Kylie? I know something I need to tell them privately. Of course. And next time I see you, I'll play you a song even more fitting of your beauty. As I promise, I'll tell you what I know about the armor of the paladins. I'd say you're more than earned, earned, earned it. Paladin armor is thrice blessed by a god, a spirit, and a human. However, your body... 
Your, your body is that of an elf. You won't be able to wear the paladin armor fashioned for humans. Oh. For elves, there exists another way by which one may receive the power of a paladin. Though it, might, it may be different in name, the blessing of a god and spirit that form the foundation of the power remain the same. Uh, when you receive the blessings of an elf on the armor rather than those of, of a human, you'll be able to bring the forgotten power of the ancient elves to bear. Now, this is interesting. This must not have been a thing in Generation 2 because elves weren't even a thing until, what did y'all say, Generation 5, 6? <laughs> so what? What is this? This must be new. Take this letter to Atarata in Philia. She should know more about the special artifact that can awaken the power of an ancient elf. Once you've gotten the artifact, bring it back here, and I'll bestow the spirit's blessings upon your armor. May the spirits guide you on your way. Okay. Also, and we're we're being we are we are being a paladin because Chichol's coming. Is that why? I forgot. Chichol. All right, so we need to go to Philia next. There it is. Atrata. Atrata. It's because the reflection of their own faces on the water ruined the image. They didn't actually throw it at her. Oh! Oh! That makes... Oh! 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 Okay. Oh! Okay, yeah, okay, that, okay, that makes all, all, yeah, okay, got it. Got it. They were like, oh, I'm ugly. And she's like, oh, why are you throwing a rock at me? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I take it back. There used to be a whole elf storyline and giant storyline, but this, but they scrapped it and let elves and giants do generation one through three. Oh. Gosh dang, where's Atrata? Which one is that lady? Um, is she like the head lady? Oh, shoot. You know you get married here? There's like a wedding chapel here. Look, this is a wedding chapel. Oh, are these people getting married? I think this is the wedding chapel. Yeah, wedding usher. See? <laughs> Hi, Edwarden. Good morning. So she's the healing house lady. I love this story for G2. I like it so far. I was a little distracted at the beginning of G2 just because there was a lot going on. <laughs> uh, like, like, in real life, there was a lot going on. <clears throat> but... <clears throat> I think I'm good. Is that letter for me? Air the spirit of water. The name is known to me, but a haze hangs over my memory like a desert mirage. I cannot recall how I came to know of her. Are you following the path of the paladin? You may be a militia in truth, but as long as your body is that of an elf, you can never become a paladin. Oh! <gasps> However, <laughs> if you call upon the wisdom of the ancient Irinid, you may be able to tap into a similar power. I somehow recall Air mentioning something like that as well. <laughs> Take this glowing stone gargoyle statue with you and return to Air. I've studied the ancient power of the elves and have learned that it can be awakened through the use of statues like these. I was not considered worthy to bear the power, alas, but I've long hoped someone could. I think you may just be that person. Perhaps the future of the elves lies with you. Ooh, I got a statue. I got Arata's blessing. Okay. All right, so I need to go back to air. Okay, hold on. Every, well, it's fine. I'm not sure how much has changed since the current G2 has been shortened. Oh. The general story is the same? Ah, okay.
Okay, before I go talk to her, I need to go use the restroom. Let me get, let me get right up to her there. There, fall out, lady, you're so pretty. I'm back, we beat the game yet? Almost. To be honest, I'm not sure. We're here. Almost. <laughs> um, <laughs> before you had to go between Aaron and Nelly like 10 times and do like five paladin training quests. Ah, uh, but I'm not a human, so. Is it also maybe different because I'm an elf? That's this why it might be different? Um, no, it's the same for everyone now. Oh, okay. Except that part. Oh, talking to Arata. Even as a human? Yeah, it's a bit different for now. So you really managed to get the ancient elves artifact. Oh, that's the gargoyle statues, the ancient elf artifact. Very well, I shall imbue this paladin armor with both the power of the ancient elves and the blessing of the spirits. Now this armor shall be forever bound to you. Here is your falcon armor, blessed by the spirits. Unfortunately, I don't think you can wear this yet. Only a true paladin can wear armor like this. To become a true paladin, you must prove to the other spirits that you are worthy enough to be one. I have faith that you will earn their blessing. Are they in that hole? Place the armor, oh, on the altar of CR dungeon and pass the test you are given. Oh, if you do happen to fail the test, just bring to me and ask about the power of the spirit's blessing. Oh, I can try it again. <laughs> I can try again if I fail. Oh, look, there's the armor. All right, to CR dungeon. Is this a role-playing dungeon? No, it's not, is it? Dang it. Okay, all right, drop the armor. Oh my god, it is. I'm a bird. Do not be surprised, you who seeks the blessings of nature. For you yourself have become a part of nature. Breathe in the... the, the. That is the trial you shall undertake. Undertake a proof... Blah, 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 blah. That was too fast. Birds talk too fast, man. Kaka, I'm a bird. Kaka. Tweet tweet. Oh, I'm a brown hawk. Ah. Wait, what? I have to. What? I have to kill a bear? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Get this, bear. Take this. Yeah. Holy cow, I'm a strong bird. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, take that bear. Oh, I have, oh, I have, uh, oh my god, I have the ability to smash. Counter and defend. <laughs> what? <laughs> that makes no sense. Okay. Birds kill bears all the time, IRL. Yeah, this is true. What else do we kill? Oh, wolves! Yeah, take this, wolf! Eat it! Yeah! <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> Wah! <laughs> Birds are terrifying. Have you not seen that movie? Birds? The creepy movie? Where the birds attack? Come on, guys. Learn from history, okay? <laughs> Can I pick up gold? Can I be like the, do you know those pigeons that they, or no, are they pigeons or are they crows? They're like trained to like bring back money in exchange for like a treat. Was that a pigeon or is that a crow? I think it's a crow. Yeah. Oh, it's a crow. Oh, and the rats. Oh, definitely the rats. Oh, yeah, these are definitely... Yeah, get owned. Give me that cheese. You don't deserve it. Yeah. What the heck? A black ostrich? What's the boss gonna be? <laughs> Another bird? <laughs> 
nice. Oh, here we go. I got the boss key. <laughs> Sesame Street Big Bird was very scary indeed. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? Oh, it is another bird. Oh my god. Oh, it's a bigger bird. Uh-oh. You made it this far, one blessed by a spirit. I shall see what you have learned from nature. Show me your power and wisdom. Defeat me and prove yourself worthy of receiving the power of the spirits. I have to talk so fast, man. I shall do that as you command. Bigger bird. Giant brown hawk. Yeah. Oh, you have way much way more. Oh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> take that. You couldn't do it. Ah, oh, ha ha, crit. Yeah. I'm gonna counter you. Come at me. How do I do counter? I think Smash does counter. At least I can't even see what he's saying. You need to break my concentration. I am powerful. I can't even see what you're doing. What is it doing? What is that skill? I can't, I can't even see. <laughs> Freaking bird's too smart, man. Why am I completely useless? I fa- I- I don't want to give up. Try to break my- you can't- you have to stop moving, I can't read it otherwise. You'll need to break my car. it may be a blink of an eye, but that's your only chance. It's taking no damage. What do I do? Is there something else I could do? Am I supposed to be doing rock, paper, scissors? Because I can't remember the order anymore. Oh, I have to counter. Okay. Come at me. On guard! Hit me! What are you doing now? What skill is that? Uh, he's doing defense. Hit me! What are you doing? He's watching your stream. <laughs> he knows what I'm doing. Come on, hit me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ah ha ha. There we go. Now we're doing damage. Uh oh, now I have to counter again. What do you mean the attack is completely useless? Shouldn't be. Oh look at that crit. Yeah! Take it, bird! Yeah! There we go. You learning has exceeded my expectations. You're surely the warrior for Morgan's per prophecy. I shall follow your command. Use your power to justice of the world. Got it. Yeah, we did it. Oh. You and I are now as one. However, I am in the realm of the spirit. I cannot stay with you for too long. Call upon me when you have need of power you require for my strength. I cannot read that fast. Uh, TLDR, he is one with me. Cool. Complete. Do I have to go back to air now? Let's see. Things work up, by the way. 
The secret letter box. Talk to the wandering merchant price. Oh, okay. Price is currently at tier. Alright. Where at tier though? Is he gonna disappear when I talk to him though? Alright, where is price? Where in tier is price? Chat, do y'all know? Where far out there thou price? It just said tier. Over yonder? <laughs> Maybe he's in the square? He's by Nora? Who's Nora? Does it say here? Oh. Oh, I can just type him and he, and he shows up. Oh, there he is. Oh, Nora's the tailor. Oh. Okay. You recognize Price by his face and attire, but something is different about him. Anger and remorse has twisted his expressions, making him seem like someone else entirely. More than anything, his eyes shine bright like a blazing flame. Oh. Hmm, the paladin skill? A skill that makes you become a true paladin? That's very interesting. I've never heard of that before. I know I shouldn't comment on something I don't know, but I don't think you'll lose sleep over not being able to use it immediately. Even Lug, the Knight of Light, wasn't what you saw at F Fiod Dungeon. Well, it's hard to believe the armor actually talked to you, but even so, it'll be wise to follow its advice for now. That said, I believe I need your help right now. I gather some information about Ezra's and... Oh, Ezra's is the... Knight of Light? Or what? Or I don't know. He hands me a book. Okay. There is an item from a helper within the church. It was snuck out of Ezra's own filing cabinet. It may look like a... Re Maybe I'm... Well, I may look at a regular book, but it's actually a collection of letters that Ezra received over the years. I think it's organized by the names of the correspondents. Well, it's nice to see a group of letters collected so conveniently. They really didn't make any sense, and some didn't even have the recipient's name on them. I can't say they're useless, but I don't see much value here. Based on the envelopes, along with the records kept for every letter that was sent, it looks as though the letters were mainly exchanges between her and someone named Kolbuh. Even after an extensive search, however, we couldn't find anyone in a main by that name. It seemed a bit suspicious, so I'm I'm just holding on to some letters for now. After losing looking closely though, we realized that they may have been overwritten in magic which would mean that the real subject might be completely different than what we see right now. Yes, if they were affected by a magic spell, then there, there's got to be some kind of reverse magic that cancels out the spell. Having said that, I don't think requesting reverse magic from anyone in this town would be too dangerous. I hear Lasser of Tear is an expert in magic spells. Could you please have her decipher the letters? Okay. Um... Who, who is he talking about? Told ya over yonder. Ezra's the girl, oh, that wanted to kill Rarari. Oh, Ezra's the, the, yeah, the advisor, the advisor. Ah, 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 okay. Yes, okay, I remember now. I remember. Hi, Rock, we're doing good, how are you? Okay, two lasser. <sighs> Darna Ezra's. So, she had magic letters. Koba. Alright, let's see here. Um, might you be Kylie? Haha, <laughs> you look exactly the way Bevan described you. It's a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. I'm Lasser, by the way. Sorry for laughing. Ah, is there something you need of me? Ah, ha, this looks to be an enchanted letter book. It encrypts what you actually write on the page by showing different letters. Let me guess, you want me to lift the spell, right? Hee <laughs> hee, well, it's hard to say no to you, so sure, why not? Yay, for free? I am done! You should be able to read what was uh, hidden before. By the way, whose letters are these? Do you think they might be someone's toward love letters? 
I know you are not someone who'd use information like this for unsavory purposes, but still, you should be at least somewhat mindful of others' privacy. Okay, time to read the love letters. Okay, what do I do now? Deliver the book to Price. Okay. Price, you better stay there. What happens if he leaves? Will will my my stuff get interrupted? Oh yeah, Rock? Did you enjoy it? Alright, Price. Hmm, done already? Consider me impressed. Let's have a look and see what I would whether I was on the mark. So that's how it was, eh? Dang them! To think those people made a fool out of me. Wait, don't you think there's something strange about this? The book contains letters sent and received, but usually people don't keep copies of letters they send unless it's for official matters. You'd expect Ezra to only have the letters she received from Kolba, run? No. Curiously, there are no letters dated after the tragedy of Amain. This likely means Ezra took possession of her own letters from the recipient at some time later. I don't know who this Kolbaha is, but based on what I would believe Ezra's capable of, they may well no longer number among they they may no longer number among the living. And if that's the case, you won't have the option of simply finding Kolba and getting some straight answers. The question I'm still asking myself is why would she keep all these letters? I don't get it. I would have destroyed them immediately. I doubt it's as simple as an obsession with organization. Setting that aside, you did great. Also, there's something I'd like to go with. I'd like to go with you. Small bottle of potion. I found this in Ezra's basement when I went there. I thought it suspicious from the moment it happened upon. I happened upon it. And now that we have the decoded letter book, I'd like to find out more. I mean to travel to Tyr to ask Dilius what sort of drug this is, and I'd like you to join me. Okay, Dilius was the healer. So we have to go to the healer. Suspicious looking, what does it look like? Oh, I don't have it. Dang it. Expired. Okay. Not among the living, I know. There, maybe it's a former. The holy talking potato. Hi, Shalom. How are you? Okay. Can you tell me what kind of potion this is? I hear you're a master healer with both magic and medicine. Th this is... Price, where'd you get this from? Are you sure you didn't know what this is? This is a marionette's potion. It's a potion made by extracting and concentrating a substance from former scrolls. It's kind of an anesthetic. And it, and it's the, it's the, whatever. If you're if you use magic on someone who drank this potion, you could control that person's will to a certain extent. Yes, the person who drinks this potion lose their free will. Oh, but there is a condition to use it. The effect only occurs when you use a few medicinal herbs and magic on a person who lost consciousness. A person controlled by this effect acts strangely, strangely so it's very obvious. In fact, I was tricked once and almost drank this potion in a main. When I think about that, I still can't forgive that person. If it wasn't for Lasser, I would have been lost. By the way, this is a very sensitive potion that's not easy to make. Where did you get this? After some thought, he starts to appear. I, I trust you because you've also experienced the wickedness of this potion, Dilius. This is a medicine made in the basement of the castle of Ezra's, a main matcha's prime minister. I was able to get this sample from someone who risked their life to obtain it. I knew it was something dangerous, but who would have thought it was a marionette's potion? Does that mean Ezra's can control the minds of those that drink this potion? Now that I think about it, my friend Lau Louch was also, he was out of his mind. Ezra's is a main much as... Ah. Dilius, I'm sorry to surprise you like this. For your safety, please forget you heard this from me today. I'll leave the potion with you. I'm sure you can dispose of it safely. Toss it in the toilet! Quickly! Or drink it. Maybe it tastes like grape soda. 
Have you guys played Power World? We we have been playing Power World, yeah. Or at least yesterday was my first day to play. Uh, get the translation of the secret letter box from Christelle. Oh, okay. That's random, but okay. Okay, to to the bon the Barton. Oh, they don't have running water. Oh, throw it in the lake. Don't use the well. People use that to get drinking water. <laughs> oh wait, probably with the lake as well. Uh oh. Uh, pour it on some grass. Hey, doo doo. Hi, doo doo. Okay, let's see. The secret letterbox. Price, you came for a book translation again, right? Can you show me the book? Hmm, this book is. Tab Hartis? It shouldn't be too difficult. Are you seeking ancient wisdom, perhaps? Okay, Kylie, since you're a follower of Goddess Morgan, I'll try to help in any way I can. Please wait here a moment. The translation is done. This is Tab, Tab Hartis, which is about the ancient gatekeeper of wisdom. I'm worried that this may portend another calamity. My guess was right. I think I know what Ezra is planning. Ezra is trying to obtain ancient wisdom to fulfill her ambitions. The demons are, of course, aware of it. And I think the recent golem activity on Seal Island could be related to this. Golem activity? There's been golem activity? By any chance, do you know anyone who works with ancient ruins or knows them well? We need to get expert opinion on the golem activity on Seal. I'm counting on you. And one more thing, there's some bad news. The allies in the castle are disappearing one by one. Some of them have lost their minds, just like Louch. Oh. Please don't do anything too dangerous. May the blessing of Limerick, Lim Limerick, whatever, and the goddess be on your side. Okay. Uh, there's been golem behavior. The heck? Check out her new bow. Who? Oh, oh, doo doo? I'm going. Ask Sumus at the Dragon Ruins about the golems. Okay, I don't know who the heck that is. Dang it, she disappeared! <laughs> did she get, did she get her new bow? <laughs> did she get her new bow? Oh! Okay, Sumus at the Dragon Ruin. Heck. Dragon. Ruin? It's pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see it. What is it called again? That's the demo bow? Or is that what she was working on? I can't remember. I was kind of like ha out of it last night because I'm so tired. Um, wait, who? Oh, here. Demolition Breaker Bow. Ooh, fancy! That's like the best bow in the game, isn't it? I can't keep up with all of them. Oh, second best. What's the first best? Second best bow. Gosh dang! Okay, I have to talk to this guy. Oh, Ruin. The Ruin Bow. Got it. The golems of Seal Island, you say? Oh, you mean them fire golems that have been roaming around lately? I I heard something to that effect. Now, the way I heard it was, Seal Island was artificially created to steal away an ancient golem back in the day. That is right. A golem's a lifeless hulk of some material, usually stone, made to move by the power of magic. They're the most efficient way to battle the former's massive armies. Most of the time, the magic what gives them life is just dispelled once they've served their purpose. Now, there's a really old legend that tells of the Partholonians using fire golems to fight against the formers in a battle on the Sin Mag Plains. That's where the problem started. As you might know, the fire golems 
Uh, it's hard to dispel their mana once they've been activated. Huge headache, it turns out. But it's no easy matter to just fight and destroy them one by one. So one of them came up with the idea of creating Seal Island. They summoned all the golems to an isolated place and BAM! Sealed them up with the opposing element. So the golems of Seal Island are the golems that fought against the formers in the Battle of Sin Mag. Sin Mag. Of course, if they all got released and started roaming the countryside, well, that ain't something that could just happen naturally. Someone's gotta be behind it. Hell, if I have any idea who it is though. There are two reasons I can think of why someone would want to wake those golems back up. Either there's something else important sealed away on Seal Island and they've got to release the golems in order to get to it, or awakening the sealed golems over and over is like some kind of practice to do the same thing for some magical creature even stronger than them. After all, the spells used to awaken a magical creature, well, they're not all that different in form, just in complexity and power. Oh, okay. Talk to Price. Is Price still in tier? Okay. All right, two tier. That's exciting though. I need to, I need to see what the bow looks like. I want to see what it looks like. I don't want to look on Wiki because it'll spoil it. Nice, Rock. You've been playing so many games. I've just been playing Mabby and Pal World. <laughs> I like it. Oh, there he is. Please don't disappear. I'm coming. Okay. Hmm. It may not be enough to explain her motive, but at the very least, it helps make sense of what's going on. So to make sure I've got this right, Ezra has interest in the ancient wisdom and plans to awaken Tabhardis, the key to the wisdom. And toward that end, she awakened the golems of Seal Island? Yeah, that's what happened. Excellent work. We still need to confirm a few more things, but Ezra's long-term goals are starting to become more clear. Say, are you acquainted with James out of Maine's Cathedral? He serves as a priest there. And as it so happens, James is also a formal a, a, a royal investigator dispatched by the pontiff's court. I received a com communique from James not too long ago. Among other things, he said that Ezra's has been gathering a noteworthy amount of gold recently. With the marionette potions and ancient magical golem and fattened coffers, I have a feeling that whatever Ezra's is planning will have er, consequences even more far-reaching than we'd anticipated. I'd like you to meet up with James and apprise him of the information you've, we've gathered. Last time I met with him, he was still working on convincing Craig, Craig to take action. With this much evidence, we should be able to bring even a man as stubborn as Craig uh, around to the truth. Your mission is to tell James everything you, we've discussed and help him convince him. Oh, this folio includes what James himself has uncovered, so it ought to help you understand where things stand. May the blessings of the goddess Morgan attend you as you go. Okay. Sounds good to me. To a main. Let's do the northern gate. Final Fantasy Rebirth in a bit, more than a month. I know, it's coming by. It's coming up so fast. Hi, Jay Spaceman. I, I am at work and all I want to do is play Mabby. <laughs> Hey, that's good though, because if you're forced to not play, that means you won't burn yourself out. <laughs> if you play too much, you'll burn yourself out. So it's kind of like a good temptation of being like, I can't play this, but I'm excited to play when I get home. Right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, where do I go? He's at the cathedral. Is that the cathedral? Oh, okay. It looks like it's down here. But anyways, I hope your I hope your Monday is going well. I hope work is going well too and not stressful. You should rock. It's really fun. Hi, Sakester. Good morning. We're gonna play. We're playing Mabby then in the morning and then in the afternoon we're switching. I'm playing Pal World. Oops. We're doing Generation 2 right now, so it's just story, but 
A lot of people have said good things about Generation 2. I like it so far. Way to find that silver lining. Yeah! What is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? It's the next part to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Coming out at the very end of February. I've been waiting for you. Price said you would come, and now here you are, investigating the allegation of Ezra's tyranny. Haha. -ha. Can you tell me what you and Price have learned? I see. Gold, tab hardest, tartis, hard tars, tartis, tab hard tas, whatever. Uh, that would explain Ezra's peculiar behavior. To be quite frank, Ezra's service as regent has high has been nigh unimpeachable. One would be hard pressed to find any blemish, at least on the surface, and none can deny that a main matcha has prospered under her watch. The citizens scarcely even have complaints about the tax rates. However, the pontiff's course is not so easily deceived. We are well aware of the suspicious potions clandestinely brewed in the basements of a main. We have seen the paladin trainees hurrying to the mines in search of gold. We know of Ezra's suspicious activities during the main matcha tragedy. On top of that, Lord Rian has not been himself since Ezra took him into her care. Yes, we have been keeping a watchful eye on her, bidding, biding our time. And now that we have all the evidence we need, there's no reason to wait any longer. Craig should be arriving soon. When he does, let us tell him the new or tell him the truth about Ezra's. Despite what you may think, Craig's loyalty lies with the main and the paladins, not Ezra's. Once all the evidence is laid before him, he will surely join our cause. Ah, there he is now. You called for me, James? Hmm. What are you doing here, trainee? There's no need to worry. They've been working with me and have proven trustworthy. And besides, I want Kylie to hear what I need to tell you as well. You likely already know much of how things stand, so I'll cut to the chase. I want you to arrest Ezra. We can no longer ignore the threat she poses. Not only is she using marionette potion to control Lord Rian and the paladins, she's using paladin trainees to gather gold for her plan to resurrect the magic golem Tepardis. Shocking! Not really. We knew this, but... <gasps> I can't believe she did this! Or we'll do something like this. Oh my god! <laughs> Space Captain! <laughs> Go get Ezra's potato hero! <laughs> I'm on my way! Oh wait! Hold on. Hold that thought. Hold, hold that thought. Um... Hold, please. I'm ruining the moment. Wait, isn't there? Oh, here we go. On my way! I wasn't expecting you to be quite that forward about your intentions. I know that you were dispatched as a special envoy of the Pontiff's Court, but I wasn't certain whether I could trust the court in these matters. A rumor has been circulating amongst the soldiers and paladins that Ezra's poisoned the previous lord during the tragedy. <gasps> the lord's health has been steadily in decline as of late, but Ezra's won't even allow the healers in the same room as him, claiming she'll personally see to his recovery. <gasps> wow, look, even the... what? What's behind me? Wow. That's a really big crazy wind. Nah, 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 I'm on my way. <laughs> Even the hair moves. <laughs> Kylie's jacked. <laughs> Super potato on the way to save the day. I have a difficult request. Go into the castle and keep Ezra's distracted. I'll sneak past her and bring a healer to check on the Lord. We cannot move against Ezra's until we know the Lord is safe. <gasps> Alright. Alright. Defeat Ezra's at the Lord's Castle in Maine. Alright. On my way. It's less dramatic. Okay. Well, at least I'm flying. On my way. Okay. So we have to go. Do I just... Ooh, is this going to be like a dungeon? In the castle. Here we go. Oh, here we go. 
Time to fight Ezra's. Where are you? I'm coming in. Oh. <gasps> Kylie? Oh yes, I've been waiting for you. The captain of the paladins told told you, did he not? Look at my face. I'm like, I don't trust you. I wish to converse with you in private. You see, I've heard you've been gathering information about me. Naturally, I find the prospect of you spreading false rumors about me rather disquieting, hence this meeting. Of course, I've done some digging of my own. I've learned a fair bit about you and what and about who you who put you up to investigating me. Unfortunately, it's proven rather challenging to locate him, so I'm going to require your assistance. I'm not gonna help you. If you decline to cooperate, well, I'm afraid I'll have to insist by force if necessary. <gasps> no need for that, Ezra's. Wait, Redire? Ridri? Ridir? What a. Wait, Price? Wait, what? He. Oh. Wait, what? Well, well, so it was you after all, Redir. It's been quite some time, hasn't it? So he's Redir. When you were rumored to have died, I had my doubts, but to reappear now of all times, to incite a rebellion against me, you really have the worst sense of timing. Unfortunately for you, you've are, you're already too late. I see, to, I see you still love running your mouth, traitor. I've gathered enough evidence about your shady dealings to know what you're really after. Of course you have, but have I truly done wrong? I've never undertaken anything beyond my right, nor spun any falsehoods. All I have done, I have done to protect the city and safeguard the happy, the happiness of its citizens. Have you so quickly forgotten your own ignorance and incompetence? Your pride in kidnapping a former child? Remember, it is, it is by my grace that you are still even remembered as the legendary paladin in this city. Dang. I have no patience for silvered. Excuses rolling off a forked tongue. Ooh. What is Lord? Where is Lord Rian? What have you done with him? I've done nothing to him, though there is no longer a lord in a main. You'll see soon enough. The truth of your inquiry. My plans are further along than I had anticipated, but I suppose that's for the best. Oh! Quickly, get her! She's plotting something he heinous, and Lord Rian is surely caught up on it. Cup caught up in it oh my god oh my god Barry dungeon pass okay time to fight her for real is this a is this a role-playing dungeon do I need to bring people hi Madonna hello I look away for some water now Kylie's a super potato. I'm saving the world I'm saving the world <laughs> Where she put all that gold though? <laughs> Orca. We gotta save the world. We'll focus on that gold later. I should still RP though. <laughs> okay. Alright, here we go. <gasps> it's Price. Oh wait, Radir. So Price is Radir. This way! We don't have much time. We must find Lord Rian. To take care of those monsters, I'm certain I can break through. So leave finding the Lord to me. On my way! Alright, time to go fight some baddies. <laughs> Wee! Hi, Fed. You think he will at least bring a sword? <laughs> I know, right? A yoink. Turn my puppet on right now. Oh wait, hold on. Dang it! Dang you! 
Hold on, I want to try something. I learned this today. But yeah. Oh look, it worked. Do I use WASD? Yeah, I do. <laughs> How can y'all only click in this game? Oh, I got a Finny gem. I needed those. I don't know. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, WASD? <laughs> yeah, you can use WASD to move. Oh. I'm zooming. Can you move with WASD? Yeah? How can y'all not? Hi, Vegeta! <laughs> Are we ready for the boss? I didn't even know we could throw rocks. I, w I learned that literally this morning. Well, look at my, <laughs> look at my abs. Okay. All right, here we go. Both of you were slower than I expected. Where is the Lord Ezra's? What have you done? Or where is the Lord Ezra's? What have you done? The Lord, ah, oh, you mean Rian. Not that you have any right to speak of him, really. Answer me, where is the Lord? Ah ha ha, seeing as you're so insistent, fine, I'll tell you what, how things stand. I am the Lord who rules the main. Uh, your boob is in the way. Uh, something, rule over all of Aaron. What, you're out of your mind. Well, you certainly never lacked her for confidence, at least. But only those with power can truly make demands, and you'll soon see how little you have. Wow! It's a golem. Ooh, that's creepy. This golem, could it be Tabardis? <gasps> this golem. Oh no! It's the legendary golem. Ah, so you recognize it, I suppose, is to be expected of the former captain of the Paladins. This golem is indeed Tabardis, guardian and gatekeeper of the ancient wisdom. And by its might, I will see you meddling fools dealt with once and for all. Oh my god, it's like Scooby-Doo. Dang, this thing's made of solid gold. I never thought you'd go that nuts. Oh, it's gold. Oh, that's where the gold is. There it is. It's all thanks to the paladin trainee's hard work, as you can see. Tabaris is, is the archetype of all golems. It took quite some doing to bring it under my command. Fair warning, it is nothing like the golems you may have dealt with. Stay close! Uh-oh. Tabaris, as your master, I command you, destroy these intruders and prove your obedience. <gasps> oh no! God. Uh oh, here we go. Be careful, Redeer. Oh god, I'm doing no damage. Uh, this isn't good. This boss used to be such a gatekeeper. Well, about that. <laughs> Hi, Bubbly! Um. Do I need to windmill? Did I do damage? I'm doing no damage. <laughs> you got this. Oh, am I supposed to let him attack? Okay. Ah, it's too strong! I mean, he looks like he's... I think Price got this, man. <laughs> All the one, 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 one. <laughs> Bonnet ain't having none of this. <laughs> Uh, Price, you wanna... Oh, here you go. Oh, no. We found our gold. Huh. 
What's a carrot fairy? Oh. Oh, shoot. Wow. Look how much damage. Oh, no. Oh, see, that was supposed to happen. Okay. Oh, no. Feels like my leg's broken. Dang it. Oh, no. It seems even the strongest paladin is no match for Tabardis. Hee <laughs> hee. How dare you mock the good name of the paladins. The guardian of light represents the best of us. They'd make much, they'd make short work of this thing. So you admit your own inadequacy? I see no guardian of light who can save you now. Tabardis, grind him underfoot. Oh, no. He's coming. Oh, oh! Wow, look at that strength! You certainly are a reckless one. Most would struggle even against a normal golem. Get out of here, Kylie. No need for us both to die here. You've done an admirable job staying alive this long, but how much longer can you hold out? I'd be willing to bet you're almost at your limit. But don't blame me. You yourself chose to be splatter, splat, splatted beneath a golem's heel. It's Kylie, I'll be all right. You go on, go on without me. Oh, <gasps> something's happening. Transform. Whoa. I'm red and purple. What is that? It's the real guardian of light. Is that, is this the light's true power? No, I refuse to believe that amateur is the guardian of light. Er, Tabardis, as your master, I command you, destroy that rank amateur and leave no bone unbroken. Uh-oh, now she's asking for it. I'm evolved. Wait, I can't move. Now I can move. You're done for. Oh, you got hit. Got him. Wait, how is the hair so much more fancy in the cutscene? No, Tabaris, lost, toppled like a reed in a storm. <laughs> then, then you are the guardian of light. It, it can't be. That was just a bedtime story for fools and dreamers. The guardian of light and Tabardis? Oh, it's Morgan. So, they are the ones responsible for the clamor in this dungeon. Oh! It appears to be an ancient golem, but the worksman, mer, uh, worksmanship leaves something to be desired. It seems the power animating it is not the magical energy one would expect either. Dang! Oh! Rian was inside! Uh-oh. Hmm, just as I suspected, it draws its energy from human sacrifice. Leave it to a mankind to engineer a solution so wretched. Rian? Rian? Oh, it's Rari. Rian! Who was it? Who did this to him? The, the Guardian of Light! That monster over there killed Lord Rian. <gasps> no, I didn't! Well, I... No... You, you were there when Triona was hurt. Uh-oh. You actually did it, Morgan. You awakened that militia as the Guardian of Light and so swiftly. Why, why? What did Tor Torona do? What, what did Rian do to you to deserve this? It wasn't me! No! Bring him back, bring him back! Bring Rian back! Okay, I have a phoenix feather, don't worry. Uh-oh. Oh! What happened? Uh-oh. Rian, no! Why? Why is Morgan silent? Why isn't she responding to my sorrow, my anger? How much more do I have to lose? Let us return, Rari. What is done is done, but I shall turn your wrath into power. Uh-oh. This I promise, I will grant you the power to deliver onto this world retribution for its evils. A judgment that asks neither power nor permission from any god. Kylie, I will never forget your name. I'll carve it into my memory. Oh god. Crap. 
It's not your fault. The Lord must have died long ago, sacrificed to give life to that golem. <gasps> so he really is dead. Oh, dang. Don't be too quick to shift the blame to me, Radir. Some part of the responsibility for Lord Rian's death rests with you. Oh, or don't you remember that night? It was your own sword that injured Lord Rian. He never recovered from his wounds even after the formers withdrew. What? what? Then the Lord died during the tragedy of a main? That very night. However, I chose not to announce it. All the tragedy and chaos you brought upon us. I could not simply stand by and watch. Y you used his corpse to animate that golem? But Lord Rian was dead well before that. All the years the city was supposedly under his rule. I can't believe it. Indeed, Lord Rian was most cooperative, even in death. Oh my god. I am the ruler of Remain and all but title. The practice of animating the dead is forbidden among the druids. But you were never a druid, were you? Just a filthy necromancer. How dare you use your black art to wrest control of a main? Ha! Huh, slow on the uptake, aren't you? Still, it can't be denied that a main has enjoyed an age of unprecedented prosperity under my rule. Perhaps a necromancer is what this city needed all along. You! I have no shortage of corpses ready to do my bidding, and I can create Tabardis anew using the golems of Seal Island. The ancient wisdom is still waiting to be discovered, and I will find it. Before that, however, the two of you will pay for the setbacks you have cur if you you have caused. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh. Oh my god! Milkman messaged me! <laughs> Hold that thought, Milkman. I need to save the day real quick. Ah! There we go. <laughs> One hit. It impossible to be this powerful even without assuming the form of the Guardian of Light. My dream, my future, it can't end like this. One hit is all it took. Ah, ah, ah. Dang! If only, if only Rarari was, was here to see that. Ah! Ah, oh, there she is, in all her glory. You fought well. To see you become the Guardian of Light has reaffirmed my faith in you once more. Your path has demanded great perseverance and laid in you with great hardship. But that speaks to the value of the power you have gained. I ask that you use that power well. In the shadows, Chichol's forces continue to grow stronger, but my greatest concern at present is the dark dark knights who serve him. <gasps> Beware of the dark knights. They are agents of chaos whose labors will surely cast a dark pal over all Eren. When darkness threatens to flood Eren, rise up to protect it as the true guardian of light. Yay. Oh! I finished! <laughs> Don't ask how I'm clapping. Woo! Oh, that was good. I liked it. Still a little confused by who Morgan is. And why... Is Morgan Chichol's Dark Knight? Maybe that's it. Um... You clap with your pecs. <laughs> sure. Okay, all right, let's, uh... <laughs> that was fun, though. I'm gonna turn back into potato. I saved the world. One shot at a time. Ugh. It was either time-based or number of hits base. Oh, for the golem. Yeah, I think it was because Price had to get hit. <laughs> oh my god, Adam, I just saw what you said. I'm at a loss for family-friendly words for your new potato form. <laughs> I'm glad y'all liked it. That was good, though. Generation 2 was good. But Chichol's still gonna attack us, man. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. He'll always remember me. He's gonna carve my name into his head, or whatever he said. Da 
that's nice. He will always remember me. Time to AFK fish. <laughs> oh no. Ah. Is Generation 3 good as well, chat? Did y'all like it? <laughs> Loved it. You skipped it. It's pretty good. A bit longer than 2, though. Okay. Yeah, 2 was actually not that long. It's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. I still have questions. Who, the former girl, who was she? And why? I forgot, I forgot the story behind Price. Whoa, what was that? Um, I forgot the story behind Price. He was Radir and he was like, I don't know. I think it's just because I should have done it back to back, but that's my fault. My fault. I love not reading the gins. The gameplay was good, so thank you for reading everything. You're welcome. Prize was a previous paladin leader. He was the Knight of Light. And then Lug was the Paladin of Light. No. Oh. Oh, Lug is the Knight of Light. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, that's me. That's me. Oh, the original Paladin. Got it. Some of this stuff, I don't think they explained well enough, but it's okay. Oh! There's that girl. A former girl. I thought former were all monsters. Hmm. Does this mean I can transform into the falcon people now? Yay! If I click complete, it immediately takes me to generation 3 though, right? <clears throat> yeah? Cool. How do I do that? Oh. Um, oh, it's a new transformation skill. Meow. Uh, beast? Oh, this? Oh, I can't use this anymore today. Okay. Oh, it resets at six, at six? Hmm. Oh, 6 a.m. That's six, okay. Not 6 p.m. Okay, cool. I'll have to wait. I'll put that there. Cool! Nice! If I start Generation 3, I don't know if I should. But look, guys! I finished one and two! This is the third one. I guess we have to, what is this? J Ooh, G3 Dark Knight. So I guess we have to go against Chichol's Dark Knights. Only 23 more to go! <laughs> yeah! Yay! Yay me! Maybe I should start it. Once you finish G3, you can do dragon raids. Ooh, that sounds fun. Seven and eight are really fast. Don't tempt me with a good time. Oops. Um, come in, la da. Oh, I still have these. Maybe I should open them. Maybe I'll get something good live on stream. Let's see. 
I'm gonna put it up here. I got some gems, some sad potions, some gems, some fellas, some gems, some fellas, some potions, some gems, some seeds. Got all the gems, holy cow. Give me a black bag coupon, please. Black bag coupon! What's that? Phantom Quartz. That looks cool. Never seen that before. Oh, I got another one. <gasps> oh, what's this? Ice Fisher second title coupon. Ooh, what's that? <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! I got the cat! Oh my god! I got the cat! I got the cat! Oh my god, that's actually one thing I really wanted. I got the cat! Oh my god, we have to show y'all. Oh my god, that's cool! There's like these homestead thingies you can get. Oh my god, it's the cat one! <laughs> Out of all of them, this is the one I wanted. It's a cat! Oh, look it! Ah, so cute! What the heck? I have the cat! Oh! What does it do? What does it do again? <laughs> There's like these animals you can get and you put them in your homestead, homestead? <laughs> homestead? And they give you like stats, but I can't remember what stats. It stares into your soul. <laughs> it's so cute. Can I not do anything with it? Can I not pet it or? Ah, it gives me luck and movement speed. Oh, oh yeah, it does. Like movement speed in my homestead or movement speed outside of my homestead. Look at that chonky ball of cuteness. I know, right? Yay. All right, let's see what else. Oh, actually, hold that dot. Hold, please. Did anybody else get any cool homestead items or things from the fishing event? Y'all get anything good? Let me sort some of this stuff so it'd be easier to see. Oh god. I've only gotten the chair. What chair? You mean the chair from the gacha? Imagine getting anything other than gems. <laughs> Hey, gems are good for us. We need to we need to work on our spirit weapons. There's nothing bad with it, right? Nah, the igloo. Oh, you got the igloo chair. That's cool. I found out here acting like he didn't get a crown and a bear hat. <laughs> I mean, technically, that's not even from this this event. <laughs> it's from the old event. I got some seeds. Do y'all need some seeds? Nice. Those are old. <laughs> Gems are good. You need a lot of them for spirits. Okay, what else did I get? Is this worth anything? Should I use it? I don't I don't have it. Here we go. I 
I got a homestead kitty. Ah! It's so cute! How do I like rotate it? How do I like move it around? Yeah, I use it. it. Says not tradable, right? Oh, you're right. Use. I am in the ice. I'm an ice fisher. Oh, wait. Ice. Oh, here. Ice fisher. Increases automatic fishing success rate. Increases chances of catching bigger fish. Cool. That's it. <laughs> what? Uh, how do I edit stuff in my, in, in my homestead? Oh, here we go. No, not that. Uh, here? Okay, move. Oh, page up. Well, how am I gonna know? Oh! I did it! Oh, cute! Cute! Ah, uh, can I put it back in my inventory? How much is this thing worth? Remove. Uh, I can. By pressing remove, it will turn back to a form of an item. Oh yeah. How much does it sell for? Homestead. Oh, Homestead. Lazy. Her, oh, that one. It's five million. It's worth five million. I want to move it, but I want it to be in the same spot, but just rotate it. There we go. Cute! That's big money if you sell it now. That is true. I'm sure more people will get it. But the thing is, I, I wanted it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to sell it. I wanted it. I want more movement speed. I need to be faster. Even, even more so. Should I be keeping these like unique looking gems at all or nah? Let me put it back here. Does anybody need any metal dies? <laughs> I have so many, I don't know what to do with them all. Okay, is there anything else that's going to expire? Oh, I need to use these. Ta-da! Um, what else? Great talent seal box. This is going to expire in one hour. Okay, I'll use it. <laughs> Oh, I get to choose? Oh, shoot. Which one should I choose, chat? Is there one that's really hard? I have five of these. I need to use them. Otherwise, they're going to expire in five, one hour. You can sell them and buy the ones your weapon likes. Oh, I don't know which one my weapon likes. It's a bow. I think there's a spirit weapon potion for 2x for maybe 600k. I personally recommend Glyph Right. It's very tedious. Okay. Uh, which one is Glyph? Glyph, 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 Glyph. Glyph. Oh, this one? The Life one saves money. None of them are hard. Very herb heavy and cast heavy. It's on the bottom. Okay, I'll choose Glyph. I don't mind. Um, I can get five of them. Should I get all five glyph writing ones? <laughs> okay. Sounds good to me. Otherwise, it's going to expire. So, might as well use it before it expires. And then I can just keep it here for now. Thank you. How are you doing today, Dibril? 
I would have said alchemy, to be honest. Oh, is alchemy annoying? There you go. I don't even know how I got this box, to be honest. I wonder if I can get it again if I need it. Um, weekly jousting. Yeah, that's going to expire. These both are going to expire. It's okay. Um... Oh, my unrestricted dungeon pass is going to expire in one day. Should I use that today? Mm, maybe I can use it tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I wanted... Oh, I know what I wanted to work on. Hold on. There's one thing. I need to finish the... Uh, Finny stuff. I need to finish this quest. I haven't finished it. So I need to finish this right now. Okay, also let me put some music on. I'll turn it that down. Um, let's put on some nice music. Alchemy is easier. Either choice is fine. Yeah, but it's more useful to her. Oh, is it? Oh! But I, mm, I need to get, I need to get to generation nine. That is true, but it's okay. I'll, I sure, I, mm, can I have help with the alchemy one? <laughs> Maybe it's okay. Music can be a tad lower. Oh, it is kind of loud, isn't it? Oh wait, actually, hold on. Is that better? <laughs> we jam it. <laughs> Elixir of Harmony costs 200k. Uh, oh, is that for... What is that for? Alchemy is the battle one, so it can, will be easier to get. Oh, can y'all help me with the battle whenever it's time for me to do that? I want to say the hardest thing to get is that 1 million thing. 1 million priced gold paper thing. Okay, what do I have to do for this? We're going to focus on this. I'm going to finish this today. Um, fin how do you spell, what is this quest? Finny, Finny quest. Finny quest. Find the place Finny Finn is looking for near Ruiz River. Wait, what? I was just there. Everybody's there. It's a popular banging place right now because everybody be fishing. Battle GMs aren't as hard as life skill GMs. Uh... I agree with that one because I did a cooking one and you had to like do the cooking cooking dungeon. You had to gather stuff and you had to cook stuff, which I guess not too bad. But you can always skip if they're like really annoying. And, and I like the kitchen dungeon. I liked it. I thought it was fun. Okay, where is this? Where? Uh, that way? Pet training iced out. Okay. It's laggy as heck here because there's so many people. I think the chair that you got, Orca, is cool. Oh, look at these people. They're like, I don't want to be near other people. I'm a fish out here. Okay, apparently I need to go and do this. Uh, find the place Rennie is looking. Okay. Um, do I have to wait here at a certain time? Oh, summon. Oh, I have to summon. Duh. Oh, shoot. I have to get, I have to get them. Um, I mean, I'm jamming all blast, full blast it. Tell that to FN. You kept doing, or having to do Red Dragon. Ugh. Red Dragon. Quest 3 is usually annoying because it's high chance of red dragon, but otherwise not too bad. All things considered, if you get red dragon, you could intentionally not forfeit that quest and request other quests in the meanwhile. That is true. I'm a potato today. I am. I felt like a potato waking up, so thus I am potato. And then you missed it, but I was like super potato today. <laughs> but it's okay. That's... It's all right. It was mainly for the. I just finished it. Oop! I for, oop! I hit the wrong button. It was mainly for generation um two. Because <laughs> I'm saving the world, 
but I switched to Super Potato. Oh, it fed! Hello! Blacksmith GM was slightly annoying. Oh, I need to get that today! Thank you. You didn't even know that you reminded me to do something, but thank you. Okay, alright, I need to summon Finny Finn. Alright, now what? Oh, maybe I have to do- ah, there we go. Talk to Finny Finn. Um... How? Oh, here? Whoa! I'm really bad, I haven't been reading these missions. <laughs> My bad. Surprisingly, Blacksmith Gym isn't the most tedious. You'd think it would be, be, but it isn't too bad if you... That's scary. Uh, if you use public homesteads. Oh. The monsters came out of nowhere. Rescue the child. Okay. Oh, shoot! Oh my god, it's a bear! Ooh, common leather. Oh my god, what is with these bears? This is great. They're scary bears, too. Where'd all these bears come from? Could ask me, man. Jeez. Oh god, not the freaking meowing. Stop! Sit! Okay, there you go. <laughs> Not the constant meowing! I'll protect you. The, re the reason why Glyph Ride is, is annoying is because the Grandmaster usually involves like 1,000, 2,000 herbs per quest or casting 50 times on a skill that has a very long cooldown. Uh, I see. Eventually you'll collect all the gems anyways. Yeah. <gasps> oh no, it's a Yeti! Take that! Uh-oh. Uh... Whoa, crazy aura. I'm not doing that much damage against it. I'm doing enough, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's tanky. Get back. That's the one thing I like about this, though. As I don't have to... Having, as a ranger, I don't have to worry about them like running to me. I can be like, get back. And stay back. My Mirage Missile is doing damage on him, too. <laughs> he keeps going farther back. Maybe I should let him come over here. Why is a potato afraid of bears? I don't know why. Because we're going to get eaten? <laughs> Running in slow motion. Oh. Oh wait. Is he dead yet? Yeah, I did it. There we go. Talk to the child. <gasps> Say Lorian! Hi! Thank you for the 112 months! How are you doing? Don't kill the Yeti, he wants to be your friend. He did not look like he wanted to be my friend. Okay. All right, child. Doing great, just tired. I feel that. 
Good thing you caught that GM seal box before it expired. Yeah! I feel like I've probably regretted other things that have expired. Oh, what is this? Give me some food. Um, talk to Finny Finn. How do I actually talk to him, though? How do I talk to you? Um... How now, brown cow? How do I talk to this guy again? Any seal in the end is a good choice. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I realized a little too late that in order to get a little notification that pops up again, it has to be like 20. There's only one or 20. Right click. Um... Maybe feed? How do I talk to you, <laughs> Specky? Once you're doing the pet... I am doing the pet trainer class, yeah. Hi. Oh, the item in the me tab. Oh. Oh, this thing. Right, right, right. Right. I forgot. It's cute. Okay, search around the lion habitat. Oh god. Where's a lion habitat? There's lions in this game? Wait, actually, I take that back. I remember seeing a lion. Um... The lion habitat is in Coracle. Okay, Coracle. Where in Coracle? Region of Iria, north of Reno. They have hippos. Uh, it's to the right of Core. Okay. Uh. Do you know the name of the mana tunnel I need to go to? There's a savannah. Haven't been able to tune in. How has it been going so far in your journey? It's been a lot of fun. I'm still having a really fun time. We finished generation two. I need to get to finishing the generations because I realize there's a lot of fun content locked behind them. Oh, Sienna Meadows. Oh, okay, here. Maybe this one. Paladin? Yep, Paladin. Come. Okay. Oh, elephants! Okay, so we got a little... Oh, there's the quest. It's right there. Alright. Um, I'm gonna unsummon you. And fly around. Wow, this is cool! We're going on a safari chat! Woo, look at this! There's an elephant. Can you, wait, can you attack the animals? I don't want to, but. Oh, you can. Dang. I'll try to make it when you're doing three. Yeah, I'll probably start three on Wednesday, maybe? I'll have to start it. Here we go. Whoa, there's so many lions. Oh my God, the roaring. Ooh, the ancient. Please don't hurt me. Oh shoot. Oh no. Oh god. Ah! I'm being attacked! <laughs> oh no! I just want to talk over here! Let me do the quest! <laughs> no! Get back! Oh wait, they dropped meat. Okay. All right. <laughs> Why are you sending me to the lion's den, man? Okay, intermission. All right, here we go. Uh, oh. Wait, what do I do? Catch lions? Oh, do I just have to... Oh, I have to just kill them, right? To get their... Wait, right? Essence collected. 
Wait, am I doing this wrong? Oh god. Oh yeah, this mission, good luck. Wait, what do you mean good luck? Is it hard? <laughs> good luck. I might as well level up my skills. Ooh, common leather. Okay, I'll summon you. Dang, the sounds they make. Is it rare? Is it like the, is it like the bears? I had to get like five bear gems. What the heck is the essence? Oh wait, I got three out of 10. Wait, what? I didn't even pick anything up. Oh, I have five out of 10 now. You'll be fine. Can just take some time waiting for the items to drop. Also, sorry if you hear this banging. My downstairs neighbor has been working on something. Don't ask me what. But they're it's banging very loudly. I haven't even, but it hasn't even dropped anything though. It's like automatic collection. I may have died a couple times doing this one. <laughs> Wait, really? Somebody keeps watching me. How did they know I'm streaming? Ooh, cheap leather. You collected all the finny. Ah! What? Whoa. What the heck? Whoa, look at him. Oh god! Oh no! My HP! Wait, why can I interrupt? Here, you stay over there. I need to... I This is gonna take a while. Oh god, he's coming, isn't he? Oh god. Well, she's coming. Ah! Summon Blanet. Go Blanet. Oh no. Oh! Where's my pet? <laughs> Go. No. <laughs> oh no. It's okay. I have now. Oh no, Blanet. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, please, 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 just, please. If I could take her out. No! No! <laughs> what the heck? It's okay, I have now ones. Windmill is my friend. Should I switch to windmill? Crisis escape. What is that again? No, no, no. Oh god. Do y'all have advanced feathers I could borrow? Or maybe more like have? Oh god. Oh god. It's almost dead. Go! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, I have one more. This one's almost dead, and I can just work on this one. There we go! Ha-ha! Success! <laughs> I died so many times. I guess I need... Okay, Crisis... Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I've only ever really used... 
Look at this. I got this. I got this. Yeah! I got this. I did it. Oh, wait, give me the... Okay, or not. What do you mean the ch? Wow. Did that kid set me up? Wait, I want the... Oh, I wanted the leather. What is this? What did he leave behind? Oh! Interesting. I did it! I had to use all my now stones, though. <laughs> but I did it! Take that! The one with sharp teeth. <laughs> Yay! The giant lion is a major field boss. It would take a group of people to take it down. Wow. I'm strong. The one you fought is similar to the old one. The current one is much stronger. But it is still a very challenging fight. Wow. I did good then, I guess. I need to... I want to see that um, field... I want to see field bosses and stuff. Pinky. Uh, where might Pinky be? Pinky, is she still in... Mm, is she still in Philia? I can't remember. I, I don't know. Is she still by the armadillos or did she change? <laughs> did she change her spot? Congrats. Thank you. Um, yeah, it looks like I, I, I am right. Woohoo, good memory. Fumbling Displeasure. How many more quests are there? Let's see. There's Fumbling Displeasure, Forest Flowing with Honey, In Accordance, A Misunderstanding, Betting on the Truth, Reconciliation. Reconciliation, whatever, how do you ever say it? Wow, there's a lot. That's okay. I don't even know if I could do all of them. I was just told that I need to... Wait. All my pets are all dead now. <laughs> there you go. Um, I was told I need to get to a deer or something. That was the last hard part. Oh, okay, good. Okay. I believe this is the last difficult mission. Smooth sailing, nice. Okay, next one, let's see. A forest flowing with honey. I'm sorry I'm not reading what you're saying, Pinky. I just joined the stream, should I ask what I am seeing? Hi, Neko! What, my potato? I am a potato. Uh, because I feel like being on stream, or like on stream but not on stream, you know what I mean? Kind of like y'all have y'all, y'all have your potatoes, or v v VTubers, <laughs> sorry, yeah, I have my potatoes. <laughs> I'm a VTuber. Talk to Pinky in the field, oh my god, I swear if you keep meowing. Kylie's forgotten how to read. I was reading Generation 2, excuse me. I deserve a break from reading. I'll watch the cutscenes though. She was feeling starchy today. <laughs> exactly. Overcome the broken tears and draw the mother tree. Kylie is for, wait, so she just clicks through the story. 
Um, who here has been subjected to very long texts and has also skipped the text slash story? Raise your hand. I want to say at least one person or everybody has, a, has skipped at least one thing in the world of Mavinogi. At least one thing. You can't tell me you haven't skipped at least one thing. Oh, enter Magmel. Whoa, this is cool looking. Only in WoW. <laughs> Sometimes I click through replays. What is, what do you mean click through replays? Absolutely not. <laughs> I usually screenshot everything as if I skip. Uh, you screenshot? What do you mean you screenshot? So this is Magmel. I am the rare breed that always reads at least the first time and also mid at the moment. Okay, well, y'all are making me feel horrible. <laughs> I thought at least some of you guys were like, nah, I always skip. It's okay. It's okay, Kylie. You can play how you want and skip stuff. <laughs> well, how about y'all tell me what's happening and then I'll read from now on. <laughs> Is this game dying? Uh, I don't think so. I think actually a lot of people are, are joining the game now, especially since there's been a really cool update that they announced uh, with the Unreal Engine 5 update. Is Zelda dying? That's a dumb question. <laughs> Any more dumb questions? I skip in every game. Oh, thank you, Specky. <laughs> Uh, if I were to guess, there there's about 10 to 15k players, not including cousins, concurrently. <laughs> um. What do I do now? Do I have to go through that? It's really pretty. Magmel. Kind of reminds me. What is the fairy place called in Final Fantasy XIV? I'm forgetting. If I didn't skip dialogue, I wouldn't have made it out of the tutorial. <laughs> um, enter Magmel. I guess I just click on it. What is that? Ooh. Ooh. Ill Meg. Mag Meg. Mag. Uh. Hi, Satomi. <gasps> wow, it's pretty. Wow, look at all the flowers. Ooh, I wonder if this place has a really pretty, really pretty music. I'll put on the music. Wow, wow, this is definitely a fairy cove. <gasps> is that honey water? What is that, or gold water? Wow, this is pretty. If I'm lost, I just go to the wiki anyways. They always have good TLDRs of the story. I wonder if I should read it. So Magmel, Ilmeg, kind of close. Not really. This is pretty though. Here, let me pause my music. I want to hear what it sounds like in here. Oh, like nothing. Oh my God, is that a freaking unicorn? What? <laughs> what is this place? Oh, I love it. Ooh. 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 Can I swim? <gasps> Ooh. Wow. Oh my 
my god, there's just little animals everywhere. Ah, oh, this is so cute! Can I go up here? Hold on, what's up here? I know I need to talk to Pinky, but... Can I go in the... No? Cool. Wow, I like this place. Can I put a guild stone here? <laughs> it would definitely fit the theme of pixelated. Right? Oh my god, and the birds. Oh, look at this deer. Oh my god, the deer has... Oh, it has a little rose crown. Okay, hold on. Wait, what is that guy beyond the mists and vines? Is that what I'm working on? Oh. No, I have to talk to Pinky. Wow, it's pretty as heck. It is honey. Honey, but we call it pee. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's all the animals pee. <laughs> Uh-oh. The music here is silly. I modded it to be the pretty Magmel dungeon music instead. Oh, you did? I can't even hear it. I don't think there's any music playing. Did I, wait, or, it might, it might just be, you know how, like, some music stops and it takes a while to, like, replay? Maybe that's it. Maybe it's because it's nighttime. Everybody's sleeping. They ain't gonna play music while people's sleeping. Oh! Oh, no, this is Pinky's. Sounds like Sebastian's gonna come out from the sea and start singing. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this is the place of Disney princesses. Yeah, it is. have given you permission to come. Anyway, let me welcome you to Magmel. We would never have made it here without permission. I doubt they would have let us get lost, but still, I'm glad we made it here together. This is Magmel. Cute. Isn't it beautiful? Magmel is the land of the fairies. And one of and one of only a few non-fairies to ever enter from the outside world. What do you mean? I am a fairy. Look at my wings. It's kind of loud. Uh, well, except for me, but I'm not a guest, so I don't count. That's right, Magmel, this is probably your first time in a magical fairy realm, right? There isn't a queen around to give permission anymore, so we hardly ever get to have guests. There's not a queen. I'll be the queen. Magmel is full of fairies, Finny, and loads of animal friends, too. Lots of people used to come here to visit, too. They throw big banquets and parties that would last all night. Though we still find ways to have lots of fun. Trust me, everyone will be amazed to see an outsider here again after so long. My master brought a guest before, and so has the queen. I've heard some rich person got to visit once too. And of course, like I said, you're my second ever guest. Rich people? The queen is dead, I'll be the new queen. You've got a place for hatching Finny too. You know the blossoming cage I gave you? It's modeled after the ones we have here. Everyone brings their Finny gems and waits for them to wake up. Oh, can I use, can I use their Finny gems or, or Finny cages? Or there's only one, or technically two? Let's see, uh, fin fi Fiona is the pretty deer over there, and she sells all sorts of stuff. Oh, but, um, not everything can be bought with money. She told me to tell that to prospective customers. Also, um, sometimes lost animals wander in here, too, and besides invited guests or animals lost travelers sometimes end up here. At least I've been told. Though, you know, I don't know if they ever mention them making their way back. But don't you worry. If anyone asks who you are, just say you're Pinky's guest. Got it? Um, is Pinky a fairy? Me? A fairy? Gosh, I wish. I spent a long time thinking about what it was like to be a fairy. I even used to think I really was a fairy. But saying I was a fairy seemed to upset my master, so I stopped. 
So um, I know I said we'd talk, but there's something I need to tell you first. <clears throat> we listen to my story, it's a bit long. No. All right. To, oh, I do have to listen to what she has to say. Dang it, I wanted to talk to the deer. Where's the deer? Oh look, there are cages here. I guess I can't use them though, only the, oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kamud. Yeah, I know, right, Miguel? But then people will probably, you know, hoard them. There's the deer. Have you seen the Gata located to the north? There are those ring-like structures covered with moss vines and branches. All of the mist gates here in Magmel were created by the queen. Doing so has bridged the distance between not only places within Magmel, but between villages and even other lands. The queen made a wide variety of Gata, Gata? Uh, each fashion according to its purpose. Among them, the gate to the north acts as a portal to the fairy village. It acts as a simple teleportation device for those who would see, who could, who would use it. Fairy village? I want to go. The golden field is not the only thing that disappeared as Magmel shrunk in size. Many lands connected to Magmel lost their gates. I suppose the queen must have found a new way wherever she is now. Oh, so she's not dead. She just disappeared. Aren't you curious what other, or what sorts of lands lay beyond the Gata and what might be going on there? Back in the former days, the fairies of each village would have welcome guests. These days, however, I would not expect much of a welcome, if any. Still, not long ago, a fairy who came to draw water told me a story. They are respected fairies living in the lands beyond the Gata. There is a revered village chief as well as a guardian who protects the forest. From what I heard, they're both rather curious about Magmel's newest visitor. So there's a revered village chief? Hmm. Different interests may fuel each of their curiosities, but if you happen to be wandering around or wondering about the lands beyond, I was going to say you're welcome to pay them a visit. That's as much as I can tell you with any certainty. If you do decide to travel beyond the Gata, make sure you're accompanied by a being who will protect you, a pet perhaps. You ought to be able to make it through any and all unexpected events if you have the finny there by your side. Perhaps you might be blessed with a gift at the end of the road. I guess what I'm trying to tell you is paying a visit may not be a bad idea. It shouldn't be all that difficult to find if you walk inward just a little bit further, I assure. There'll be no grave for <sighs> Okay. Cool. Um, is this the deer that I can sell stuff to? Oh, they heal your pet. Heal pet. Oh. Relinquish finny pet? Get treatment. Oh, so it's like a healer. Oh, that's cute! Trade. Sell finny pet whistle. Oh, okay. What do they sell? Oh, they sell... They sell finny... Oh, but I need gold leaf pine cones. How the heck do you, how do you get those? Ooh. Oh, they sell potions. Oh, mission pass. Ooh. Ah, <gasps> what's this? Hmm. That deer's rich as heck. <laughs> there is speculation the current story in Korea is about Magmel and the fairy queen, Siora. Is that the fairy queen? That deer is... Oh wait, Finny trafficking can be anywhere? 
trafficking. You can get a lot of gold from her by making a heck of a lot of whistles. I have a lot of whistles. Maybe I can make some money here. Let's see. Sell all. I have nine. Oh. I made 125k. That's not a lot. <laughs> but that's not too bad. Oh, they're gonna give me 20 additional gold leaf pine cones. Oh, so that's what you do. Yay! I made money! Now I have more inventory. Well, that's honestly why... Oh, that's cool. Not why I did it, but one of the reasons why I did it. Oh, wait, is this the music? This is cute. I thought there was no queen. Apparently there is, but I guess... I don't know. I skipped some of the story, so I don't fully know. Ooh, so what is this? So are these... Is this place, like, a place to do dungeons? Did I get another quest? What is this one? Beyond the Mists and Vines. What is that quest? Oh, here. Enter the land beyond the mist in Magmel. Red whistle, she gives you 1.2 million a day for 30. Well, I'm I'm leveling it up. I'm guessing I get red whistles when this is like a high rank. Pet dungeons. Pet dungeons hard as heck. You you'll get trampled. <laughs> Are they really that hard? Oh dang. Okay, well. That's for another time. Let me go talk to Pinky and finish this quest. Am I a baked potato? Because you're fucking hot. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> okay, listen to our story. Alright, here we go. Ooh, look at those mushrooms! What? Dr dream! Da 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 ma! Hmm? Da da mama? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, am I. Oh, this is me. Oh. Ooh, this place is cool. There's a cat. Perfect. This is actually what I would do IRL. Wait, where'd the cat go? Whoa, this place looks cool as heck. I, I'm so slow. What the heck? Is this what it feels like to be a human? <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? The other way. Stronger enemies are usually considered rank A and drop red finny gems. Oh, I see. Sad human noises. What do I do? I can't get any info. Uh. Dang, if I walk faster, this might be better. Hold on. But the cat was over here, right? Where'd the cat go? 
Where's the cat? Oh, over here. Oh, this place looked similar. Okay. <laughs> I found you. It got turned around really easily. I do that a lot. Oh. A human. I'm coming for you, kitty cat. Ha ha ha. It's a human. Did you bring them here? <laughs> Yay. A small human is after me. <laughs> this is probably how my cats feel in real life. <laughs> a human's after me. Ugh, you munchkins. What's all the ruckus about? Whoa, it's a tree. Oh, it's Sephiroth. <laughs> what? Sephiroth. Oh my god, it's like... Hmm, it's a human child. What the heck? Uh oh, let's go beat up the tree. Don't worry, Pinky, I got the. What the? When is Master coming on board, Legatus? What the heck? There's a blue dragon. Quit your whining. You said you could, you could wait, didn't you? That's because Master sounded like he'd be coming soon. I hope he didn't lie to me like that adventurer did. Why would he lie to you? I suppose it would take some time to convince that stubborn giant. You know what, Legatus? I think it'd be nice if Cattell came to stay in Magmel. The Imp and Finny agreed with me. They said we should stay together, and the Finny liked Cattell because she's a nice kid. Better drop the issue, I say. It's already hard for Sior Siora to keep you around. Yeah, I know. I've thought about dyeing my hair because I could, cause, or because I don't think she likes it for some reason. Uh, but I know she doesn't hate me personally. I don't like humans. They lie, betray, and per persecute each other. Why did I have to be born as one? Dang, that's deep. This is cool. It's a talking dragon. What the heck? Feels human, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> At least you have pets that you can get on and be faster, right? I am a couch potato. What good will complaining again do you? Besides, Finn would be disappointed to hear you say that. I'm sorry. Let's talk about something fun instead. A very long time ago, there was a tribe that could crush ore with their bare fists. Doesn't that story pique your interest? Are you going to tell me a story? In that case, I want to hear the story of Connois. I like the color of Shailene. Shailene? It glitters and ripples. The fairies like it too. Oh no, Cattell is going to live near Hillwind Mine, right? Maybe I should hear that story so I can tell it to her later. Hmm, I wish you had two months. That way you could tell me both stories at the same time. Or two mouths, not months. If I had two heads and told you two stories at the same time, could you follow either one of them? Greed spreads and scars like poison, Pinky. Did I not tell you, to s you a story illustrating that very point? Ugh, right. You told me about the tribes that were cursed by Irinid because of their greed. I still don't understand, though. The humans, ancient tribes, even the dragons. Why'd they go against the will of the gods and make such horrible mistakes? Oh, sorry. You said you wouldn't repeat yourself again. I forgot. You'll understand someday. And if you don't, perhaps that could be a blessing in disguise. You might wish you weren't human, but a human you are nonetheless. But simply being a human doesn't mean you have to live like the typical human. I know, it's just, I just wish I was born as a fairy. I can understand why you might see that as desirable. Um, Legatus, instead of you telling me a story, how about I sing for you today? What do you say? Judging by your level of enthusiasm, can I presume you've learned a new song? Shh, don't tell. And tell me what you think. I worked really hard to learn it. La 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 la. Did Siora sing this for you? Yes, that's right. Siora had a dream. She said it was long and depressing. Hmm, interesting. Heaven's word before heaven's word. <laughs> she kept singing the song, then got lost in thought, the same way she does when telling an old story. I'm sleepy. Very well, you may go to sleep. I'll wake you when Finn arrives. Look at this, I heard someone say the queen is talking about leaving the forest. Do you think it's true? 
We don't even have the mother tree anymore. If she were to leave... <gasps> oh, and then she goes to sleep. Well, well, I'm back. So she was adopted by the fairies. That's cute. Um, complete. I did it! I like this place, though. This place is cute as heck. This dragon is actually pretty awesome. Is does do they appear in the generations? We have an expert of dreams here. Enlighten him. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I got the next one, but I don't know if I want to keep doing these today. Cause one, I'm hungry. I need lunch. But I love this place. Oh my god. This is, this is the home of my people. Guys, we're literally fairies. <laughs> my whole theme on my stream is fairies. I love this. Um, this is a pretty good stopping point. That's good. I wish I could put my, I wish I could put my guild stone here. <laughs> like imagine, this would be perfect. I could just put it off to the side. Like right here, right right here. Beautiful. Fairy potato, actually there is a fairy potato filter. <laughs> Drink the honey river. But it turns out to be pee. Gross. There is so many animals here. But this place is pretty, I like it. I had no idea such a pretty place like this existed. Well, there is that other place with the big tree. With the big old pink, pink tree. I forgot where that place was. 